Hey, how are you doing? It's me, Kevin Clark. Now, big massive thank you to all of the ministries, you know, partners, viewers, friends, family that have been supporting me as we continue to keep fighting the good fight of faith. Thank you, Samantha, Elohim Ministries, and everybody else. Now, I just want to go through a scripture which I find very edifying. I was on my phone today looking at the early Bible and I received like daily scriptures and since developing a closer relationship with the person of the Holy Spirit the more I read the scriptures now the Holy Bible is the more I see the Holy Spirit involved in like absolutely everything so um, I'm going to go to John chapter 5 verse 24 okay and it reads like this verily verily I say unto you he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation but is passed from death unto life and that's a promise right there and that's definite yeah this is bold verily verily is that is it right I say unto you that's some serious word right there so let's go over that again I say unto you so that's direct and personal he that continues to hear my word hear it means to continue to okay and believe continues to believe on him that sent me okay continue to believe in him that sent me so here's the Holy Spirit now speaking about Jesus right? let's go back has everlasting life okay that word has is powerful because you're in possession of okay and shall not come into condemnation but is passed from death unto life so right there many of the plans of a man many of the ways of man man's perception of things I mean the word goes on to speak about man's ways are foolish okay whilst I do apologize God's ways are foolish unto man's understanding and man's ways you know, this may seem right however you get to a place where you're limited and man's ways lead to death God's ways are sure Jesus is the way the truth and the life the way the truth and the life so many are the plans of a man but it's the Lord's purpose that prevails so there's purpose on all of our lives so that means that I must continue to develop an intimate relationship with God you know continue to break bread commune communion to fellowship with the Holy Spirit and not be fooled by all other things and all other ways you know that appear to be the right way however when you compare them ways to what the scriptures are saying to what the Holy Spirit is saying then that's when you're going to know how are we going to know if we're not in communion with the Holy Spirit so it's important for us to stay connected okay because if we don't if we break off then we're in a lot of trouble so I admonish you to continue to do what is right continue to support one another break bread encourage each other and give thanks being thankful in all things give thanks just be thankful I mean when I was sent a message today by a Samantha Senior, a woman of excellence in Christ Jesus, um, it was simple. It was a flyer which was created some time ago. But be behind that was a message which was thank you. And that's sharpening because we do these things upon the Lord we're not doing this for self-gratification we're working together for 
a harvest which is great, which is souls, there's people that do not know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Saviour. And sometimes we may take the salvation for granted. Well, how about a world that's lost, that do not know, that are hungry, that are looking, that are searching, and we have the answer, and it's those who are in Christ Jesus has the answer, those that are born again has the answer, and it's for us to go and take the word, the truth, bring the truth to the people, so that people can be set free from the plans of Satan, okay? Greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. We are the head, not the tail, above only and not beneath, and we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. So continue to feed your faith and starve your doubts, and you're more than a conqueror. And I love you, and just be the change you want to see, and don't let anybody, any report, anything stop you from trusting, relying, and depending on God. The word is sure, it's solid, it is written, proven and tested. Incorruptible seed, the Bible. Continue to meditate on the word day and night so that we'll do all that's according to, to what's written therein and we'll make our way prosperous and have good success. There's times when a battle comes and we never know the time when that battle is going to come. But when that battle comes, we have to have the right tools and the right things, the right mindset. We have to have that that fight in us in order to deal with that Goliath. And it, that time can come at any time. But if we're filled in the Holy Spirit, yeah, if we if we're continually in fellowship with the Holy Spirit, it means that we're in continual fellowship with the Word of God. We're relating. We are um, getting more more food, we're getting much more, we're becoming much more equipped, which means that we can see we're not um, ignorant, but we're enlightened. If we're in the light, we can see. If we can see, we know where we're going. If we know where we're going, we're not lost. Destination, purpose, our ways are sure. But if we're ignorant, which means in the dark, it means that we're lost. We don't know where we're going. You know, we're afraid to take that step. Fear trapped in fear, bound in shekels. So with Jesus being the way, the truth and the life, he's given us the comforter. Okay, when we come to Christ, we have the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, and he will guide us into all truth. So exciting times ahead. Let's continue to fight the good fight of faith. And if you're listening and you do not have a relationship with Jesus yet, perfect. Now's the time. Basically, Jesus died for us and rose again so that we can have everlasting life. And as long as we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, then we'll be saved. So the first step is, and it doesn't matter where you've been or what you've done or what anybody says or how things appear, just trust in the word, okay? And the word will prove itself to you. The word will. When you read the word, things will become enlightened, things will make sense. But it's all about developing a, a relationship with Jesus. So if you don't have a relationship with Jesus yet, let's start now. And then after, what I'll do is I'll give you some more nuggets, some more tools, places where you can become more equipped. Okay, so you ready to pray? Awesome. Okay, so just repeat these words after me. Okay. Lord Jesus. I give you my life, I give you everything, and I accept you as my Lord and my Saviour. Come into my life. I believe that you died and you rose again for me to have everlasting life. Thank you. I am now born again. I will continue to seek you with all of my heart. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, amazing. You're now born again, that's the first step. The second step is for you to get understanding. You need to know what purpose God has for you 
And in order to do that, you need to connect with people that are in Christ. Find a church where Jesus Christ is Lord, okay, where you can fellowship and learn more and understand about your part to play in the kingdom of God, your role, how to become equipped as a born again believer in Christ, commonly known as a Christian. Okay? Um, there's an amazing plan for your life. Don't fear about a thing. Okay, just rely, trust and depend on the Lord. Okay? Get yourself a Bible that you can understand. If you need some more details, simply link, click onto the link in the description box. That will take you to a website where you can get a further direction. If you need, if you've got any questions, simply drop me an email, hook up, hook up with myself. Okay, if you need prayer, there's a section where you can request for prayer. We're here to help you, okay? You are not alone. You are amazing. And I thank God for your life. So, well done. Okay, this is the first step. Develop a relationship. It's important. It doesn't matter how things appear, how things look, how things seem. With you now being born again, it's time for you to build yourself up, okay? So remember, um, Get yourself a Bible that you can understand, the, the Holy Bible. I use the Amplified Version and the King James Version to get understanding. Find yourself a church where Jesus Christ is Lord of that church, okay? Um, and just get understanding as much as possible. Just take things one day at a time. Hi, I'm super excited about you. Super excited. So that's it from me, Kevin Clark, believing in you. And remember... Jesus is Lord. It's all about Jesus. God bless.